Hey everybody, in the following videos of this playlist, I'm going to show you everything you need to know for how to adjust an Ableton Weekend Worship Set project so that you can set it up for your specific needs at your campus location. I'm going to be using Ableton 10 for these videos. Now, Ableton 11 is currently out there, but there's really no major differences between 11 and 10 for our purposes, except for the clip view, which I'm going to get into when we cover that. We use Ableton Live with our live bands on stage for the playing back of click tracks and backing tracks, or what we often call loops. Uh, it's a great tool when it comes to things like changing tempo, changing key signatures, uh, creating transitions between musical elements, and also real-time controllability from the stage. Currently, our music production team uploads the Ableton Weekend Project early afternoon on Wednesday to Dropbox, uh, which gives worship leaders time to set it up. So please give yourself a good bit of time to do this, to set it up. Uh, please don't try and do it a half an hour before rehearsal starts, just in case uh, you, you run into problems. Uh, music production also provides documents and other special instructions, which we will get into. And currently we put those on Slack messaging in the music production channel. So any changes or updates that you need to know about concerning the Ableton Weekend Project, we will notify you on Slack. All right, you have your computer set up on stage with Ableton installed. You have an audio interface and a MIDI trigger unit connected to it. You have your Ableton preferences set up and you're ready to go. So as I said, music production uploads the project to Dropbox currently. So let's go to Dropbox and let's open up the LCBC weekend loops folder. We're going to find the weekend date. So the most important thing with this is to copy this folder and paste it to your local computer's hard drive or an external drive if you are using one. You do not want to move this folder off of this location because this is a shared location for all our campuses. And if you move it out of here, then it's going to be gone for everybody. So if I grab the folder with my mouse here and click and drag it and move it to my desktop, I want to make sure I'm holding down option and I can see this plus sign, this green plus sign. That shows me that I'm copying the folder and not moving it. So make sure you see that green plus sign. Make sure you're holding down option. Now after that folder is on my hard drive, I can double click it and open it up. You can see I have a lot of different folders in here. In this file right here, called June19th2021.als, uh, that is the actual Ableton project file that we're going to be working with. Before I do anything, before I open that up, I'm going to make a copy of that. So I'm going to do that same process. I'm going to click and drag it, hold down option, and I'm going to rename this. I'm just going to put my name on it so I know that it contains my edits. That way, if I make a mistake during my editing process, I can always get back to the original file. Then all I'm going to do is open it up and I'm ready to work on it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep watching along in this playlist. As I said, I'm going to go over everything you need to know to set up your Ableton weekend project for your campus.